Welcome to Susie Claire Quarters with me, Susie Q. <laughs> you may notice I have Mark Bowl and the two it's hot look in the background. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Um, I mentioned yesterday about going to the Mark Bowen Shrine in London for Mark Bowen's anniversary death, which is on the 16th of September. And I want to go the weekend, 14th to the 15th of September. And I was hoping to organise a meetup. Maybe you make YouTube videos, or you're just a Mark Bowen fan, or you just want to meet me, Susie Q. <laughs> I know, I'd love to hear from anyone who's had any experiences with Mark Bolan T-Rex. Maybe you've met Mark Bolan or worked for them or anything at all. Maybe be in an interview. <laughs> um, anything at all. Even if you just want to let me know your favourite Mark Bolan song, I'd love to know. And I will leave my email address down below. So please get in touch with me. <laughs> yeah, I'd really love to hear from everyone. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's it really. You know, I just love to meet people and do a bit of vlogging. And this is the first time actually I've been to the shrine on my Mark Bolan Shrine Virgin. And um, yeah, I don't even know where it is really. Um, I haven't really been to London. I only went once when I was a kid. And um, I just remember going round that circle thing, is it Trafalgar Square? I don't even know what it's called. That's on Buckingham Palace. You know, for a Brit, I'm not very um, patriotic, I suppose the word is. You know, when I went to America, you know, Americans are very patriotic people, and you know, they said to me, "Oh, you're English, and you know, could you say hi to the Queen for me?" And I, oh yes, I have her on speed dial. You know, you know, they seem to think we we all love the Queen. I'm not saying I don't love the Queen. You know, I'm just not really. I don't know. I love having the royal family, and I don't know what I'm on about um, You know, having the um, our monarchy. You know, it's a big part of England, and of course with the royal baby and everything. And I think we, with the internet especially, we get so much of all the the media side of things. You know, it's not like it used to be. I mean, I love Lady Diana, and um, I was really obsessed with her actually, and I love Kate. You know, and William. So I suppose I am patriotic, <laughs> patriotic in a way. You know, and I'm trying to work on my British accent. <laughs> you may have noticed I am actually Brummy, and when I started making videos, I really started to hear my Brummy accent. <laughs> I really don't like it. So I thought I'm going to start to work on my accent. You know, I would love elocution lessons, and. Um, you know, when I watch videos myself and I hear us Brits talking, some have such really beautiful accents. I think oh, I'd love to talk like that. So um, you might find me talking in a weird sort of accent <laughs> as time goes by. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm drifting off my subject here a little bit, aren't I? And um, yeah, so that's it really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I am really actually very patriotic, but I don't like to admit it. Um, I think us Brits are a little bit uh, sort of what's the word they call us to have um, this music put me off. <laughs> oh, you know, so we're very sort of we're not very we're not like Americans, you know, we don't just sort of we're very stuck under what's the word somebody let me know <laughs> i can't remember what the word they call us british <laughs> oh yes <laughs> i can't remember i don't even know what the hell i'm talking about now it was mark boland and now i'm talking about the queen <laughs> and um yeah so <laughs> yes we're very sort of stuck up our own arses <laughs> and um you know you know, Americans are just very more forward, and I love Americans. My last boyfriend was American, <laughs> and um, well, it wasn't really a boyfriend. I like to call him a boyfriend. He was in a way, I'm just a friend, really. I don't even know what I'm on about now. I don't know what I told you that for. <laughs> and he took me actually to CBGBs. This, this, and I had such a brilliant opportunity to make videos, and I didn't take my camcorder. <laughs> Because at the time I didn't know how to use the thing, <laughs> and uh, I just had a basic camera, you know. So I miss. I did do a few things. Um, I documented the Alice in Wonderland statue because that's one of the reasons I went. So I wanted to go to Central Park, 
and to uh, Times Square and I had made some videos there uh, yeah yeah <laughs> and um, the main video well I really wanted to make was CBGB's and but to be honest I was so overwhelmed when I got there oh my god I just wanted to kiss the ground and, and I couldn't because I just would have looked stupid <laughs> and there's too many people around and um, unfortunately I wasn't even allowed to go in and it's now a close an upper end men's clothing store a designer a Greek American designer called John Vavados actually owns the, the old CBGB's now and there was a gig because I still play music and there was a gig going on that evening and uh, they wouldn't let us in it's like your name's not down you're not coming in here so that was it really so that was the end of it <laughs> I was just so glad to be at the Bowery though. Oh, it's such a wonderful day. The sun was shining and it was very romantic actually. And um, yeah, I went to St Mark's Place. I went to a shop called Trash where Debbie Harry actually shops there herself. Uh, and I got a Debbie Harry t shirt. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was just such a great day. And um, I've only got the memories of it and maybe one day we'll go back and actually make a video <laughs> yeah so um yeah that's what I just want to talk about a little bit today and I just wanted to show you my Ramones sweatshirt that I mentioned yesterday um, that I got from Primark and it's got the Rocket to Russia record cover on the front I don't know if you can see in this light and this is in grey and it has Ramones written there in red and this is the large size because I think they look much better when they're baggy and they also had a Ramones t-shirt in maroon and it had the classic circle of names with the eagle and that was £8 and this was £12 so what a bargain and that was in Birmingham Primark but I'm presuming Primarks everywhere would have them and there was a bit low on sizes because obviously being a Sunday you'd left with the drabs really because they stock up on a Monday so if you're really sort of looking for romance stuff, I would try Primark of all places. And um, even before, I've got a Ramones bag, which was only like three, three pounds, and also a Ramones scarf, you know. They're just less than five pounds, and, you know, you just can't... What can you say for those prices? <laughs> and the quality's not too bad either. So, uh, yeah. And as I said about CGB, CBs, um, as you know, there's a movie coming out soon about CBGB, so I just can't wait. I mean, the guy who plays Joey, it just looks totally awesome. And there's also a girl playing Debbie Abbey, she looks really, really cool too. And as you know, the CBGBs is the birthplace of American punk rock movement. And the Ramones were pioneers of punk, uh, had their first shows there. You know, and for me to actually meet the Ramones, it was it's the greatest day of my life, really. And um, I just wanted to mention also, sorry, the camera's wobbling here. Um, that after you know they said the lair was nothing, they actually went upstairs into the area where they was given some dinner, and they gave them this stew. And Joe Ramone picked up a dumpling and said, "Yeah, what the hell is this? I, I can't do a Joe Ramone's accent. Uh, what the hell is this man?" <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> something hock and American uh, yeah and they did the word dumpling was <laughs> I know it was, it was really funny and I forgot to mention that in my video and also the drummer was CJ Ramon I'm pretty sure of that now and obviously Joey, Johnny, Dee Dee aren't with us anymore so you know to have met them is such a great honour for me just the, the average girl next door <laughs> Susie Q and I'm going on as usual here so yeah if you really want to meet me <laughs> I couldn't imagine anybody really wanting to but you know, if you do, you know, want to be in a video set or just a Mark Bond fan, you know, just anything. I just would love to hear from you all. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching me, Susie Q, and hopefully I'll hear from you soon. Remember to keep it real and whatever. <laughs> Ciao for now.